so we live three hours away from Cincinnati in Huntington uh, is three hours away from Cincinnati. So it would be a, a day trip, right? So we would, <laughs> so dad would say, Hey boys, let's go. And sometimes mom would come too, but, but a lot, I remember it being a few times. It was just like the four of us and it, it would be like, let's make a day of it. Go see a Reds game. So we would drive up in the morning We'd get there, you know, we'd get the mini Reds bat and we'd watch the game. Eat Justin ice would cream fill out, out an application our... for a credit card. That almost always happened. That. I did do that once. I uh, started myself on a road to financial ruin that I'm still trying to escape from. <laughs> I, was, I was 16 years old and I got one to get a free Reds baseball cap. Uh, hi, Justin. They sell those. Hi, Dad. You had to co sign. Like, fuck everybody. So that was that was a great thing. And then as we would leave the stadium and I had my like, I, I can't wait to get a credit card. I wonder what that's like. Uh, as we're leaving, still on that credit credit card high, uh, we would always stop at Skyline Chili and then have a three hour drive home. It was just like a fart rocket. It was like. <laughs> Do you want to do, do you want to do you want to sous vide yourself in farts? Do you want to fart a ceviche here in our to- Toyota Corolla? Like, let's just do it. Let's see what we that's would get like. out and we would open the doors when we got home, and the outside of the car would just be like unpainted, tarnished metal. <laughs> The Reds game was red. God, baseball games are so expensive because you got to get the tickets, you got to get the kids the souvenirs, you have to have the seats of the car reupholstered and then burned. Ah, <laughs> oh, farts. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what the joke is because the chili would make you fart. That's what I was saying. Let's see. We talked about safety patrol. We talked about cold showers. What else is on your list? I Griffin? did get a credit card. Travis, thank you for yeah. reminding me. The first credit card I ever got was at a fucking Reds game for a baseball cap. What was the limit? Do you remember the credit limit on that? $16,000. Okay, at first, no, no bullshit. At first, it was 500 Okay. And That's good I for a kid. A, I'd let my 16 year old have a $500 credit card. And then I got a letter that it had been extended to $6,000. <laughs> And I never. And I this never is why we had the credit collapse, everybody. <laughs> because yeah, we because were giving it just six thousand dollar credit cards to sixteen year olds. That's high, that is higher than my current credit card limit. That's insane. You know what? It's, I can't get a credit insane. card now. But because 16. of Justin, <laughs> because of how bad Justin goofed up. Six thousand dollars. What? Yeah. Six thousand. You might 16- as well have had a blank check at that point. That right. is the movie Blank Check. It's Basically. red. It's red card. That's insanity. Six thousand dollars. I um. But you know what? To be fair, I used that credit card to pay uh, my tuition at Marshall, and I used it to buy books, which is what I told Linda at Universal Credit Union when I got that debt consolidation loan. <laughs> What's up? Really? I actually, it was... I used it to buy an electric guitar and lots of Taco Bell. And <laughs> tons and tons and tons of hero clicks. Oh, <laughs> uh, put it on the card. I'll never have to pay this back. That's Adult Justin's problem. I am Adult Justin. Thank you for your uh, waste. I got, a, I got a call from a... Uh, 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 there's a lot of bad information out there about credit cards. <laughs> I, got a, I, I got it into my head. Okay, so I saw one of those commercials for one of those, like, we'll take care of your debt. No problem. We'll talk to the creditors so you don't have to. And I was like, well, that sounds, like, really great. And, and they were like, we'll get you your thing for pennies on the dollar. And um, the the w- I looked it up. I Googled it. And I was like, what do these companies do? Because, like, that seems kind of crazy. And they th- what I basically said is, like, what they tell you is just to basically stop paying. And then eventually – the like the credit company will get so desperate that they'll sell the loan to somebody else and they'll search you out for like less money right because they just want to get it off the books at that point so they'll sell your debt and then that person who's a real dick is going to come for you hard but for less money and i read that and i thought well that's what they do i could do that right now so i just stopped paying it (laughs) i in the first fiscally responsible decision I ever made, I cut out the middleman and just stopped <laughs> paying my credit card. Because I realized I was never going to pay it down, so I'm just going to stop it's, paying it. It sounds like you also attempted to cut out the upper man. <laughs> I so cut out just, just, the man. just you, the lower man. Leaving only me, the lower man, to deal with this. And I didn't do anything. And for months, it worked fine. Yeah. And then I got a very angry call from a gentleman who wanted some money 
right there. But that was for your drugs thing. That was a different <laughs> that thing. That was actually, yeah, he was collecting taxes on Balls Out United. And then we Balls had an extensive. Balls Out United, listen to the words that you said. 